Hey guys, Paulina here and welcome to today's video. For today's workout, I have an express full body workout, meaning this is very short, just 20 minutes, and we get our entire body work through, core, upper body, lower body, all of it. Um, so the way today's class is set up is we have a three minute core AMRAP, as many rounds as possible to really kickstart our core before we get into those full body compound movements. Then middle, we have a three by three full body circuits. I mean, three movements, three rounds, and then we finish it off with a five minute EMOM every minute on the minute. Also full body, also explosive movements um, to really finish us off, give us that power. For today's class, you will need a pair of dumbbells um, or some sort of weight. Uh, if you have more than one, even better, but you need at least a pair or something around the house, wine bottles, water bottles, backpack, whatever it might be. Um, and then of course, of course, making sure you have that water. So again, this is express, so rests are very limited, so you really wanna maximize and utilize those rests to making sure you have that water nearby so you can grab that quick sip, get in those breathers, and then get right back into our workout. So for today's class, we're gonna start off once again with our core Kickstarter. Our three moves that we have in this core AMRAP, you will need one light dumbbell, or if you just have, again, one pair, just whatever dumbbell you have, you'll only need one. Our lucky number is six, so that means we're gonna do six reps of all three moves, and then once you're done, you're just gonna keep going until those three minutes are up. So, for our three moves, we have a seat belt sit up, laying on our back, legs extended, both hands holding onto that dumbbell. We're gonna bring it over onto our left side, and then as we sit up, bringing our backs off the ground, we're gonna cross it over to that opposite hip, almost like you're putting on a seat belt. So we're gonna do six from left to right, then six right to left. Then we sit it on up, we dig our heels into the ground, we keep our dumbbell by our chest as we bring our elbows behind our back for six Russian twists. Now for the Russian twist, we're gonna do double count, meaning left, then right equals one rep. So one, one, two, two, so on. So you're gonna do really a total of 12, six on each side, and then we turn it over for a plank pull through. I want you to start that dumbbell closer to you, your hip rather than by your shoulder. Hands down, feet back, keep those feet nice and wide to stabilize that core. And you're just gonna drag that dumbbell, pick it up and bring it to that other hip, going left to right. And this time it's only gonna be single count. So going left is one, left to right is one, right to left is two. So actually a total of six, three on each side. So those are our three moves. We have three minutes to kickstart this core. So we're gonna go ahead and lay it down. Again, hold those dumbbells, both hands. We're going left to right, from left shoulder to right hip, six times, and six times right to left. Go ahead, lay it on down. We are getting started in three, two, one. We sit it up, left to right, six times, keeping our chin off our chest. And then once you're done, left to right, you're gonna bring that dumbbell up to that right shoulder. Come right to that left hip six times. Once you finish those six, you're gonna sit it on up, bend those legs, Dig the heels down, palms stay right by the chest as you bring elbow behind the back for a total of 12, six on each side, Russian twist. Finish that out, we turn it over, plank pull through, dumbbell starts by the hip. We come into that high plank position and we drag and we pick up and pull over at dumbbell, right to left, three, on each side. Once you finish out that first round, guess what? You keep going all the way until our three minutes are up. We already have 80 seconds down. We are almost there. Try to get at least three rounds in if you can. 
That's your goal. And guess what? If you finish those three rounds, your present, your reward, you get to do a fourth round. We are keep working until that timer runs out. We got a minute and 15 seconds left. We're already more than halfway there. Six feet belt sit up. You finish it on both sides. You sit up, you bend those legs, dig those heels in. Six Russian twists. Keep the dumbbell by your chest, double count. So 12 total. And then once you're done with those, we place our dumbbell on the ground, side of our hip. We turn it over for six plank pull throughs. Again, dumbbell being by the hip, not by the shoulder. We have 20 seconds left. Keep working. Did you make it to that third round? Better yet, could you have made it to that fourth round? Just 10 more seconds. And then we get a nice long 60 second break in three, two, one. Let's go ahead and relax. We get our break. Grab some water, towel off. Again, it's an express workout, so these rests are very limited. Take advantage of them when you can. We now move into our full body circuit. We're gonna start with our feet outside of our hips, dumbbells in both hands. We're gonna push the hips back, almost like we're doing a very wide Romanian deadlift. Then, as we explode up, we come into a high, Pull. So bring in those dumbbells up to your chest. Again, we push the butt back, then we lift it up. Second exercise, half burpee. So hands stay on the ground the entire time. We jump the feet back, then we jump them in. Keep that back straight. We have a gorilla row. So those hands should never be leaving the floor, except for when you're rowing those arms up. And of course, if you need to, Slow it down by walking in and out that half burpee. Then finally, we finish it off with a narrow chest press with the glute hold. One of my favorite things to add on. So you lift those hips up, keep those dumbbells nice and close together. And as you bring those arms down, elbows should be staying by your side as you press up and down right over that chest. So those are our three moves. We're going to start with our high pull first. Sumo high pull. Outside of those hips, our feet. Light bend in those legs as we hinge the hips back and then we pull up right above those chests. Go ahead and meet me when you are ready. We're coming down, exploding up. Nice and quick. Eyes should be looking just a few feet ahead of you. That way, that neck stays nice and neutral. Again, push those hips back. Your legs should not be bending. This isn't a squat to a high pull. It is that sumo, almost deadlift back, straight up into that high pull. We have 15 seconds, and then we get 15 seconds of rest before we come into half burpee, gorilla row. We have four, three, two, one. Let's relax. Shake out the muscles. Place those dumbbells in front of your feet. And then we're gonna go ahead, bend those legs. Now we're in a little bit of a squat. We jump it back in three, two, one. Jump the feet back, then bring them forward. Row it back, one on each side. So hands are never leaving. Feel those dumbbells, and you're only lifting up those dumbbells when you come up into that row. Again, if you need to, slow it down. Walk that burpee, that half burpee, in and out. That is completely fine. Just keep your body moving, and of course, making sure 
your back is not rounded, you want to pull that belly button into the spine. Notice how straight my back is as I row those arms up. We got three, two, one. We quick transition. We turn it over, legs bent, feet flat. We're gonna push through our feet to lift our hips up in three, two, one. Raise the hips up, arms extended over the chest. We bring it down, keeping those dumbbells right next to each other. Again, making sure those hips are even. Squeeze the glutes. You should be feeling this in your bottom and then in those triceps, back of the arms. We're halfway there. And we have two more rounds. Next round, same timing. 45 seconds of work, 15 seconds of rest. We got 10 seconds. Squeeze those glutes. Make sure they're up nice and high. Keep them even. We have three, two, one. Let's relax. We stand it back up. Quick transition, because it's only 15 seconds of rest. Feet outside of those hips. High pull. We hinge it over in three, two, one. Let's hinge it over. High pull up. Halfway there. Push the hips back, and then as you explode up, elbows coming, shoulder height, hands come up to the chest. Again, keeping those shoulder blades, squeeze them back to keep that back nice and upright. We have 10 seconds. Three, two, one, we rest. We put our dumbbells on the ground, just in front of our feet. We bend our legs, coming down into that squat. We jump it back, half burpees, three, Two, one, let's jump it back. Forward, row, each side. And again, making sure that back stays nice and straight. You almost wanna lower the hips down. Once you jump those feet back, just like you would in a sprawl, we have 20 seconds and then quick transition onto our back for a narrow chest press, bridge hold, 10 seconds. We have three, two, one. Let's go ahead and rest. Quick transition onto our back, legs bent, feet flat, dumbbells together. We're going to Press our arms over our chest, push our hips up, and when you're ready, meet me in this narrow chest press. As we hold this bridge position, we squeeze those glutes. We keep those hips nice and even. Halfway there, 20 seconds, and then we get one last 15 seconds of rest before our express round, our third and final round, express. That means 40 seconds of work, each movement with no breaks in between until we're done with all three movements. So I want quick, quick transitions. We have three, two, one. Let's go ahead and relax. We stand it up. Quick transition, remember, no breaks. So when I say you move straight into that half burpee next, First, we have our sumo high pull in three, two, one, 40 seconds. No breaks. We bring those arms down. We hinge those hips. We explode up, squeezing those glutes, bringing those hands right up to our chest. Twenty seconds on deck. Half burpee to our gorilla row. We place those hands down. We get ready to jump the feet back. 
10 seconds. Three, two, one, hands come down. Jump the feet back, jump them forward, row, row. No breaks. Quick transition into this. If you need to, walk out that burpee, walk it back in. Halfway there. Remember, after we're done with each of these movements, that is it. We don't do them again for the rest of class. We have just over 10 seconds, quick transition onto our back, narrow chest press, bridge hold in four, three, two, one. Come straight onto the back, bend those legs, lift those hips up quickly, straight in two, narrow chest press. Don't worry, we get a nice long minute to recover after this. Whew. So you gotta push through this express round. Stay strong, don't give up, you are almost there. We are already, imagine this, two thirds of the way there. We just have one last circuit, which is our EMOM, our finisher, with three, two, one. We get to recover. 60 seconds, we put those weights away. Our EMOM, body weight. Our two moves, we have hands off push up, hands down in that high plank. We lower ourselves down, chest all the way to the ground, slight lift of those hands, then we press it back up, always making sure that back stays nice and straight, no curves, no butts in the air. Then our second move, jump squats. Just coming down into that squat and then slight lift as we jump our feet up. Five minute EMOM. Our lucky number in these first two rounds is six. Six hands off push ups, six jump squats. Every minute on the minute means that it's your work and your rest. So you want to move kind of quickly, get at least 15 seconds of rest. We are starting in three, two, one. Bring it down. Don't forget, I want your chest to come all the way to the ground. Full depth push up, slight raise of those hands. We have six push ups. Then we jump it up, six jump squats, keeping count of your own reps. And when you're done, you get to relax. We still have 35 seconds. So if you're done, that's how much time you have to rest. If you're still working, you still have 30 seconds, so no worries. Once you're done, grab that quick sip of water, because again, this is very high intensity. This is our finisher. We have 15 seconds. Second round, same two movements, same lucky number, six reps. Six hands off push-ups, six jump squats. We start in four, three, two, one. Bring it down chest all the way to the floor. You don't let those elbows flare out too much. 45 degrees or less. Then you stand it on up. Six jump squats. Making sure those knees don't cave in. You always, always push them out. Always make sure that back is nice and straight. We still have 33 seconds. Ooh. So if you're still working, no worries. If you're not, plenty of time to recover. Cause guess what? Our next two rounds, our rep now, eight. Eight hands off push ups, eight jump squats. Unless you did not get 15 seconds, which is right now, then stick with six. Cause I still want you to get some rest. So we have eight reps, unless you didn't get 15 seconds of rest. Then you stick with six. We go in three, two, one. Bring it down. Keep that back straight. Don't let it cave. Number eight. We're going for eight. Just two more. Then we stand it up. Eight jump squats. And then you get to recover. You still have 30 seconds. 
So if you're still working, no worries. If you're done, 25 more seconds to catch that breath, get in that good deep breather, grab that water, towel off. Whew. And again, we have 15 seconds now. So if you did not finish, stick with six reps. If you did, we are sticking with eight reps. We are going in five seconds. High plank position. Three, two, one. Bring it down. Eight reps. Finish out those push-ups. We stand it up for our eight jump spots. Okay, this is it. Our last round. We have 30 seconds before we start that last round. And as you may have guessed, especially if you've ever taken any of my classes, our last round, lucky number, 10 reps. 10 hands off push-ups. 10 jump squats, and if you finish early, there's no such thing in the last round. You finish early, you hold a plank. We are going in five, four, three, two, one. Get those 10 reps in. Again, unless you did not get 15 seconds of rest, then scale it back. This is it, our last round. Finish it out strong. 10 reps of those push-ups. Then we stand it up, 10 jump squats. And again, you finish early, just like I just did. We come down, we hold a plank. There is no finishing early in the last round. We all finish together. One minute of straight work, hold that plank. If you're there, if you're not there, keep working. Can you get to that plank? We got 10 seconds and then we're done. Finish line in five, four, three, two, one. We get to relax. Drop those knees gently to the ground. If you are in that plank, whew, grab a quick sip of water. Whew, I hope you guys enjoyed this express workout. Again, we're gonna start introducing these express classes where it is just the workout, no warm up, no cool down. So if you need any of those, we'll always put links in the description for a universal warm up and a universal cool down or just any of our stretches. But from now on, we're gonna start incorporating these express classes for those of you that don't have the availability or the time to make it out to a full class or watch one of our full videos. So these express classes will always be marked. We'll have a playlist for you. And if you have time for a longer video, you can always stack these express videos on top. That way, if you want an express lower body, express full body, boom, you get your express um, full body in there that way. So once again, I am Paulina. As you guys know, it's been such a pleasure to work out with you guys today. I'm truly honored that you guys took the time out of your day to work out with me. I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope you have a great rest of your day.